Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Game, and today in this video, I'm gonna go over Iron Giant's move set and some combos in multiverses. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So the Iron Giant right now is one of the most powerful characters. However, he is very tall and has a large hitbox, so he does tend to take a lot of damage. So let's go over some of the move sets. Now, if you haven't gone to the lab yet, this is the lab, and this is great for going over your move set. Now, here is the quick move sets in the games for uh, the Iron Giant. So I'm going to scroll through here and go down. Now, let's go through some of the moves actually in the game. Now, just starting out with the basic shield attack, I'm on the PlayStation, so I'll just call out the different controls that I'm doing. So this is the shield. And this is triangle just by pressing that once. You'll see my partner over here, Taz, also gets shields. So the more bolts I accumulate, the stronger my shields will be. So if I press this once, my shield will pop up. I will get a shield and Taz will get a shield as well. So you can see the bolts underneath my character right now under zero. So to get bolts, I have to press down on the square button. And I'll do this and I'll plant a bolt on the ground. So I can press L2 to pick it up, and I gain an additional bolt. Also, I can press square up, and I can get bolts this way, and I'll do like a uppercut. So here's my uppercut when I held it. So let's just do a quick uppercut. You can see I throw a bolt also, and then I can walk over and I can pick up the bolt. So here's the bolt on the ground. So with the uppercut, this is really strong. So I can just do a standard square up, attack just like this or I can hold it and I'll do an even stronger one now let's do the standard square attack so this is the standard square attack here and sometimes when I do the standard square attack I also get like a bolt on the ground after I land a hit so you can see me picking up a bolt after I hit shaggy with it so just that's just pressing square if I hold this down I'll do like a charged one as well now this is square to the side I'm just going to pound some iron and then I'm going to hit Shaggy with it. But square to the side is your combo. So if I press square to the side and then press square, I'll do like a sit attack afterwards. So square to the side and then my sit. And that's a very strong combo right there. You'll hit him with this and then you'll sit on him. And I KO a lot of people by doing that move set. Okay, so that was the square. Now let's go to triangle. So the standard triangle will be my shield. Then if I go triangle down, this will be my sit attack where I jump up in the air and I sit on people. And this is one of the best moves of Iron Giant right here. So if I go triangle down, I can locate the location on where I want to go ahead and jump. So let's go to Shaggy right here. Now I can jump up in the air and I can still direct where I'm going to land with this. So if I don't want to land where he is, I can just move my character to the side here. And you could jump up real quick by pressing X and then triangle down and still do the same like sit attack. But this helps you get a little bit higher up in the air real quick. And then you can just jump down as well. Now triangle to the side will look like this. It will be a grab. And then you can walk with the character somewhere. You only have like a few seconds to do something. Otherwise, you just drop them. But a very strong combo with this is. You press triangle to the side, grab them, and then square up, and then you'll just throw them up in the air. And also, you can do a charged one as well. So let's grab them, and then charge this, and you'll throw them even higher. And that's a very easy way to get a ring out by just tossing them up into the sky. And since I have this over my head, it says protect friends. This will be my special, and this is what it will look like. I'm going to use my right thumbstick and go to the right with it, then press down, and I'll do charge kick, and then my right thumb stick up, I'll shoot missiles, so this is very good to do, and it's very strong, and when you're in your kind of special like that, your teammate can actually jump in you and man one of the guns, so if you are playing teams, this can be extremely beneficial. Now let's do the triangle up button, and I'll do like a spin attack like this, and you'll notice that I'm hitting over the target and I'm not actually striking anyone. So this can kind of be problematic, but you can kind of angle this when you're walking. So if you move at the same time when you're doing this, you can kind of angle down like that 
but if you do it too close to the person, you won't really hit them. So you kind of have to walk into them as you're doing triangle up, and then you'll actually strike them. And this is your standard dodge with Iron Giant by pressing O. You can dodge to the left, to dodge to the right, then dodge in air, dodge down, dodge up. And this can help you get back to the ring a little bit quicker too. Now this is the standard jump. And as you can see, I have a limited amount of gas to use. It's going down as like a little timer. And it recharges relatively quick. So if I go ring out right now and hover over here, the only bad thing is it's kind of predictable of where he's going to be because it takes a while to boost back up. And it's hard to dodge attacks and get back to the zone, I think. But you can kind of combo that with dodge and you can move a little quicker. So let's go hover, dodge, hover, dodge. Now let's do some jump attacks. So by pressing jump and then just square in the air, this is what it will look like. Now I can hold this down and I will wait until I hit like the ground. Or I can press it when I'm up in the air once and I'll spin my feet around. So let's hold it, jump and hold square and I'll do it kind of like at the ground level. So if you can't hit the person with triangle by doing like triangle up, you can jump and do squared and you'll kind of hit them on the ground level. Now let's jump, do square to the side, to the left or right, and you'll kind of do a boost kick just like this. And that's a relatively powerful attack too. And then let's do square up and you kind of do like a small uppercut that boosts up in the air, similar to how Superman kind of does it. So let's go square up and you'll keep boosting. So if someone is above you, you can keep boosting and you'll knock them out. Now let's do jump triangle. So let's do jump triangle and that's just your standard shield. Now let's do jump triangle to the left and you'll kind of do a shoulder bash. Jump triangle to the right and you can keep holding this down and you'll go even further. So let's just do this as you can see. I can hover along the map actually and angle it down. You kind of have to hold triangle down at the same time. And there you go. It takes a little bit getting used to it. You have to jump, angle it down, and continue to hold triangle. So you kind of have to be a little bit further away to actually hit them on the ground, but you can travel quite a bit of distance with your rocket boost. Just keep monitoring your little gas meter. Now let's do the triangle up attack and this will spin and this is a great area effect kind of thing where anyone around you is going to be getting hit in the air with this and he's so large and it's so easy to hit opponents with him. So this is an easy way to also ring out someone when they're right above you and right near the top. You just boost up and boom, triangle up and you're going to hit them. And then let's jump and boost up and then just do triangle down and that's the standard sit. So the sit attack is probably his strongest attack just like this. And then the grab attack and then punch up with square just to throw him out. And then here is the emote by pressing up on the d-pad. You just do a little wave and smile to everyone. Now for the pass abilities for Iron Giant, it says Iron Giant does not have a double jump, but will instead fly when holding jump. Flying activates his rocket boots and propelling him upwards and consuming fuel. Iron Giant grants a thorn buff to himself and any ally that receives gray health. Enemies take damage whenever they deal damage to the thorn user. So his shield I was mentioning before, that is this thorn buff. They will receive damage when they strike you. When Iron Giant deals damage or his allies deal damage, his rage meter will fill. When full, he can transition into rage mode, dramatically altering many of his attacks, giving him gray health and making him immune to knockback. Iron Giant will exit rage mode after a period of time when his gray health is depleted. Allies can press their normal neutral input, which is square, to pilot Iron Giant while he is in rage mode. Then aim his tentacles and fire his laser light rocket projectiles with normal inputs and a heavy laser projectile with special input. Fighters can walk along Iron Giant's shoulders like a platform when he is in wall cling. Iron Giant will transition to a wall slide after a fighter has stood on his shoulder long enough. Enemies will bounce off of 
him like a wall if they collide with him while in a knockback. So that's a quick little overview of Iron Giant's movesets in Multiverses. If this video did indeed help you out, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.